Welcome to K-Drama Notes. Today we'll be discussing the events between BTS and singer-songwriter Melanie Fontana. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you! Many of you may already know BTS. They are a very successful K-pop group in South Korea. The band consists of seven members, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, RM, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. One thing that sets this group apart from others is their focus on more serious topics like mental health. In September of 2018, BTS became the first K-pop group to speak in front of the United Nations. Their Love Myself campaign, which launched in partnership with UNICEF, focused on preventing youth violence and promoting global education. Tell me your story, I want to hear your voice, and I want to hear your conviction, RM said during their address. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, gender identity, speak yourself. You may be curious as to who Melanie Fontana is. Melanie Joy Fontana is an American singer, songwriter, and producer who was signed to the record label Universal Music Group. In the past, she has written songs for the Western artists such as Britney Spears, The Chainsmokers, Justin Bieber, Dua Lipa, and Halsey. What many K-pop fans are unaware of is that Fontana actually works with Big Hit Entertainment and various other Korean entertainment companies. Some K-pop groups she's worked with and co-written songs with are the following, BTS, TXT, FX, Girls' Generation, AOA, TWICE, Hyolin, Everglow, Secret Number, Minzy, and more. Other than Sweet Night, Fontana has also worked with BTS on their most recently released album, Map of Soul. Songs include Journey, Stay Gold, their hit song on featuring Sia, Boy With Love, Microcosmos, and finally, Euphoria from the Love Yourself Answer album. In order to understand this situation, we have to take a step back. Oh my god, but then like to see them singing my song at Staples Center, like... What? BTS dropped Euphoria in 2018. Soon after its release, it was announced that BTS would perform at the Staples Center. This was a big accomplishment, and as expected, all ARMY around the world were beyond excited for the boys. However, soon after the news broke out, Fontana said the following in an interview. Oh my god, to see them singing my song at the Staples Center? Many of ARMY assumed that she was implying that she wrote the song herself when in fact, there were a total of six writers involved. Let's fast forward to 2019. When BTS's song Boy With Love was released back in 2019, Fontana was caught up in accusations of taking too much credit for the work she did with BTS and many other co-writers. An ARMY stated, her post about the song repeatedly makes the ludicrous implication that she is solely responsible for songwriting Boy With Love, when in actuality, she was only credited for the chorus which was then changed by BTS. See the issue? They continued, some of her other fun posts include her claiming that Boy With Love is her first platinum single, while claiming she's also responsible for the Guinness World Record related to Boy With Love and other tomfoolery. As seen in the images to the right, Fontana quotes, I came to write records. I ended up breaking them. World records, that is. Thank you so much. The same user went on to share that Fontana's work on most songs came in the form of sending over original compositions and lyrics, with much of the latter part being rewritten by BTS in Korean. BTS's involvement in the songwriting process was also confirmed by RM in one video shared by the user. Let's take a look to see what RM has said. If you're wondering, I will add links to everything in the description below. Uh, 
시가형과 호비 랩 파트를 빼고 한 80%에서 90% 정도 거의 대부분의 가사를 제가 어, 쓰게 되었던 것 같습니다 좀 제가 열정적으로 쓴 것도 있고 어, 좀 저를 믿고 많이 맡겨주신 것도 있어가지고 계속 가사 쓰는데 주력하다가 정작 제랩 파트를 많이 늦게 썼어요 그리고 이제 인트로 페르소나 이제 솔로곡을 갖다가 좀 오랜 시간 작업하다 보니까 저한테는 좀 빡셌어요 네, 그래서 조금 힘들고 지쳤 나 작업이었지만 어쨌든 결과적으로 잘 나왔어 다행이었습니다 네 그래서 우선 저희 새 앨범 얘기부터 해야 되는데 어, 저도 기분 좀 나게 제일 Let's move on to this week's issue regarding Sweet Night. Sweet Night was released back in March for the Netflix K-drama Itaewon Class, Part 12. Since then, it has climbed charts and broken worldwide records, earning V more than 100 number ones on iTunes. Sweet Night was produced by V and Hiss Noise, co-written by V, Hiss Noise, Adora, Melanie, Joy Fontana, and Michael Lindgren Schultz. The song was also sung by V himself. Earlier this week, on July 14, 2020, Universal Music Publishing featured Fontana on their Instagram, highlighting her work on Sweet Night. Record breaker All Eyes on songwriter Melanie Joy Fontana, whose recent work on Sweet Night by V from BTS has just locked in the number one spot on iTunes in the most countries in history. To that, Fontana replied by saying, Thank you so much for all the support. Me, love you guys so much. This post and Fontana's response to it is not being well accepted by some BTS fans. ARMY soon swarmed Fontana's social media, accusing her of taking credit for BTS's work as well as their success. Fans voiced that their issue is not with collaborative projects, but with Fontana being a credit-claiming clout chaser with a proclivity for being rude and selfish. The user stated, The issue is not her working with BTS. It is the fact that she is so desperate for clout that she claims that she herself is responsible for BTS's success. This then feeds into the idea that BTS cannot be successful in the West without collaboration or assistance from white artists. As of this recording, on July 17, 2020, UMPG has since deleted the post. So oh, I've noticed that since Universal Music posted about my participation as lyricist on Sweet Night by BTS's V, I've been getting a lot of hate today. I mean more hate than I've gotten in a really long time. Like every 20 minutes or so I have a hundred messages in my inbox. Um, every five minutes I have, you know, 30 or 40 tweets saying how much someone hates me or how feeling credit. Well, um, I just would like to offer this up. We're going to do my husband and I an Instagram live where we explain the process of songwriting and how it all works so that everyone can better understand because there is no such thing as stealing credits in the music industry. You either wrote the song and you're credited by your performing rights organization or you didn't write it. And that's so just to wrap up this long winded thing is it really hurts to get messages from people like it really does hurt even though they're strangers and I don't know them. It hurts to hear people say you're ugly, you're untalented, um, you didn't do anything when the reality is every songwriter on a song participated in some way and we've given our lives and our hearts to our career. So to have such negativity bombarding us for quite literally no reason just being protective over a person that doesn't know you a person that may love you but a person that really doesn't know you and doesn't need your protection there's no point because we're all working in this together this is our career this is our love this is our passion and i'm just trying to give that to everyone out there and do that in positivity As a news page, we have to stay unbiased and cover each side. Please note, Fontana has publicly acknowledged and thanked BTS, tagging the group and her co-writers in several of her own Instagram posts featuring Sweet Night. 
However, according to ARMY, when Fontana speaks publicly in interviews, comments, and tweets, she tends to make it sound as if she's accomplished all the success herself. Here are a few screenshots of the posts she's made for Sweet Night, The Journey, and BTS is On. In a post dedicated to Sweet Night, she wrote, Through all the sadness and fear flying around the world right now, it was still an absolute joy to have co-written this song for Itaewon Class with Be A Big Hit Official. As seen above, Fontana has mentioned Big Hit Official and BTS in a few of her posts. As of this recording, on July 17, 2020, it has been brought to my attention that Fontana has been sending fans some DMs. In this specific DM, she says, I won't tolerate your harassment and blatant racism. If you and the rest of the K-pop army do not leave me alone, I will be contacting my lawyer. To which the fan responded, We are both white, Melanie. What are you talking about? On another note, Fontana has also been accused of using Sully's name to promote her music. Fans believe that she's trying to victimize herself even though Sully was the one who passed away. What do you think about the situation? Please let me know in the comments down below. Alright, it's time to move on to the next person involved in this situation. The next person involved in this situation is Fontana's husband, Michael Lindgren Schultz. After Fontana started receiving hate, her spouse came to her defense, reasserting that they wrote every single word in Sweet Night. He also put out a tweet saying, It's incredibly sad to see that some army still have not learned the different cultures have different ways of talking about achievements. Educate yourself before you harass people. When army started attacking him, he said, Why do you want me to go away? I'm trying to educate people that attack my wife with insufficient knowledge. I'd be more than happy to schedule an Insta Live so I can answer all your questions about the process. Please pause the video to read the next slide. After Lindgren, or Schultz, claimed that Fontana had written every single word for Sweet Night, BTS's fans were quick to pull out proof that said otherwise. For proof, many fans pulled out these screenshots showing that V had produced and written Sweet Night. The following clip will also show V's writing process in one of BTS's V lives. Oh,宋来特是以前直接采访的时候，切割嘛，我就接触过。그来宋来特的三个人，伊朗，같이，살아보니까，저도，어느，생각，거기，물들어，있더라고。요즘에는，진짜，제가，뭐，세곡서，따
또 많은 분들에게 분명히 큰 도움이 될 겁니다. 네, 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. On top of everything else, Fontana and Lindgren are also being called out for racism and cultural insensitivity. A separate thread of Fontana's racist comments include her making several jokes against both black and brown communities, including joking about poverty and starvation in Africa. The original thread of Fontana's blunders also shared she's always playing the victim and threatens to tattle to BTS when armies don't agree with her claiming total credit or misrepresenting her involvement on BTS's song. Also, she thinks reverse racism exists. Please take some time to read each picture. The next person involved in this situation was Fontana's manager. Fontana's manager decided to step in the situation and voice his concerns and opinions. However, this did not go as planned. The manager named Justin Garza said some conflicting statements. As seen in the screenshots to their left, he switches his statements a few times, thus causing fans to confirm the whole mess is a lie in the first place. As seen in the pictures on this slide, the manager claims that they're not wrong. He says, we always write the song in English and then send it to Korea for it to be translated. The fan then asks, BTS translated the song in Korean? To which the manager said, yes, that's how it's always done. The funny part was, that Sweet Night is actually written in English. V has also sung it in English. When fans called the manager out on this, he quickly backtracked on his words and said something completely different. Please take some time to pause this video and read these messages. Fontana's manager also came under fire for many of his past tweets. As soon as BTS fans caught him red-handed, they immediately started digging into his Twitter feed. To their surprise, Garza started deleting his more inappropriate tweets out of fear of being cancelled. In this slide, you can see all the tweets he's made in the past. And this is not all of them, these are just four. Please take some time to read each one. The last person involved in this situation is singer-songwriter Candice Sosa. After Fontana was accused of taking too much credit, Sosa quickly went to Instagram to defend her. After looking more in the situation, and due to ARMY's comments, she realized she was ultimately wrong and apologized. Her first post on top of the screen basically accuses others of not knowing enough about the music industry and therefore is calling fans uneducated on the whole situation. In the second picture, she says, I shouldn't have gotten involved. My bad. I love you, ARMY. This is probably the most important part of this video. Fans have spread an email template. They are kindly asking others to email this template to Big Hit Entertainment. They want them to know and be informed about everything going on. The email template focuses on four main points. Point number one discusses how Melanie Fontana is taking too much credit for BTS's work. The second point mentions that Fontana has been seen liking posts including false images of BTS edited together with other idols, thus fueling dating rumors and scandals. The third point includes information that the blog Inspire Me Korea has been selling boxes with exclusive pictures of Melanie Fontana and three of the members of BTS. For those who don't know, selling images that are exclusive or unapproved by Big Hit Entertainment is considered illegal. Especially in this case, it seems like Fontana is profiting from these exclusive pictures. The fourth point mentions how Fontana and her husband are racist and culturally insensitive. This template will be linked in the description below. Please consider giving it a look. In order to end off this video on a much lighter note, I thought I'd share some K-Netizens comments on this situation. Please consider reading them as they will give you a good laugh. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.